melanin planter and I just wanted to do a quick video so I can update you on what happened in March. I should be having a drinking video for this video because I definitely deserve a few drinks after what happened to me. So I had just had my baby in January and <clears throat> I stayed, I had just started staying home with my baby by myself because my husband gets three months off of work and he only took two so we went back to work and I was home with my baby and there's like a extreme wind advisory so I told him to take my car because I haven't been driving so I can't go plant shopping only online which is no problem for me because I do a lot of online shopping but so I told him to take my car because they were like warning you stay away from windows don't go outside don't drive like higher vehicles and his is a higher vehicle so he took my little Honda so me and the baby were just chilling at home. I was trying to stay away from windows. Um, we were just not really paying attention to anything that was going on outside, even though it sounded horrible and I wasn't letting my pets go outside and all that. Um, and we have a lot of trees in my backyard and my front yard, so I was a little worried about that. Um, and then, like, trees were, like, hitting the house. Like, branches were falling and hitting the house. We have a metal roof, so it's kind of loud. Mm -hmm. So I was holding the baby. I was trying to put the baby to sleep. And while I'm putting the baby to sleep, I like, hear this like weird noise. And I'm just like, hmm, okay. And then I look out the window in my room and I see my greenhouse all the way like, I see it out of my room window, which normally I wouldn't be able to see this greenhouse. And it's just like smushed up against one of my fences. We have like this dog area where it's like enclosed for the dogs and my greenhouse is all the way on the other side of the yard and it went and it flew across the yard so and then there was this earlier in the day there was this weird incident where someone like had this like boat and it was like a trashy like boat and it was like covered in trash there was like all kinds of furniture and weird stuff on this huge boat and someone like parked it like across the street there's this railroad track and someone like parked it over there so there's like this cop like telling them they need to move this like crappy weird it was the weirdest thing like that never happens and of course during this windstorm it happens they're like trying to park their boat there and this cop is like there and this like little suv and he's just like yeah you can't move your boat trying to get the guy to move and he's doing that during a freaking windstorm where no one's supposed to be outside and i put my baby to sleep in the crib and all of a sudden like pieces of my freaking greenhouse are just flying off my plants are in the freaking air like it was horrible and um, I was like, dialing for my husband like telling him he needs to come and we need to figure something out that my plants are freaking gone like they're down the freaking railroad tracks and it was horrible it was really horrible and so we were getting like 80 mile per hour gusts of wind and like 70 to 80 and I guess that's when it happened. And it was like holding on tight. And it was so messed up. The night before, I was like, yeah, we're going to have a, we have like a wind warning tomorrow. Like make sure the greenhouse windows are closed and all that. That's what I was worried about. Make sure that the windows are closed so the windows don't fly off or something. And, or like so plants don't get knocked over in the greenhouse or something. I wasn't thinking my whole freaking huge 8 by 20 greenhouse that I worked so hard to put together. But... We were supposed to have a contractor put it together, and my husband's like, oh no, we can do it, it'll be easy. And we put it together perfectly, but we did not stake it in or like make a foundation to stake it in because my husband's like, oh, this thing's going to be so heavy, like, the wind isn't going to be able to hurt it like that. We didn't, we never had any crazy, like, wild winds here like that, but now we know this place is, like, known for pretty consistent winds, but... Since we've been here, we've lived here since 2018, and we we rented for a year, then we bought it in 2019, and we hadn't had any issues with wind or any of our things in the backyard. We have a bunch a bunch of stuff in the backyard, and never we've never had any issues. And of course, that happens a year after. Literally, it was like almost exactly a year after we had the greenhouse where this happened, and we were just talking about how we were like excited for the new year with the greenhouse because I could finally I just started being able to go in the greenhouse because during my pregnancy I was so so sick and I couldn't um go I couldn't even look at plants like let alone go in my freaking greenhouse so my husband was taking care of my greenhouse the whole time I was pregnant so I lost 
so many plants from him. Like, he, he, he killed so many of my plants. I forgot to talk about that part of it, too. So, most of my plants were lost to my husband killing them during my pregnancy because he either over or underwatered for the anthuriums. He was underwatering for the philodendron. He was overwatering. It was a hot mess. So, he killed a lot that way, but there were still, like, I had, like, hundreds of plants in my greenhouse, and there were still hundreds left. So he killed a few, but there were still hundreds left in the greenhouse when it flew across the yard and across my freaking neighborhood. So my neighbor, he, oh, and then at the same time I was calling my husband to tell him that my greenhouse was freaking across the yard and all over the neighborhood. My neighbor had called him as well, and then my other neighbor had texted him, so everyone was just calling and texting him. And he was more concerned about just me and the baby and making sure I was okay. And he knows how much I love my plants. So he's just like, okay, I'm going to rush home. So he was coming home and he sells cars. So um, he rushed home. And then my neighbor, he came and he started like, grabbing stakes, like trying to stake down the greenhouse. And, like he was trying to take off the little, it's like polycarbonate um, sides because he was saying, that's why it flew because the wind couldn't like get through like usually like if you picture like a fence like when we build fences here out of wood you have to have like at least half an inch isn't even enough it has to be pretty big like spaces in between so wind can get through you know it needed something wind to get through it or it needed to be staked down so he was trying to take those because when the wind was hitting it it was like it was just crazy and trying to take it away more but thankfully it was like caught on my fence so because that part's a metal fence so it was caught on the fence and so and then my other neighbor she came over and she started trying to help me take these out and I put my baby to bed in the crib and I had the monitor on my phone and I'm like hoping that my baby doesn't wake up so I can go run outside and take care of this so thankfully uh, my husband came so I can keep running in to check my baby even though I have a monitor I'm like even now I'm, I can't just go outside even if, yeah so I'm just overprotective so <laughs> so my neighbors are all just helping trying to take my greenhouse part trying to grab as many plants and then my other neighbors like oh I didn't know they do plants in there I'm just like yeah and my husband he's like so sweet everyone else is like worried about grabbing greenhouse pieces so they don't they really didn't want their house to get hit by greenhouse pieces of course all this metal and plastic and craziness fl flying everywhere. My husband is just grabbing my plants and trying to go all around the yard, trying to grab my plants and put them in the shed and bless his heart. He was so sweet for doing that because my poor plants. Like he killed, like during my pregnancy, he killed so many of my plants and he knew that I was so upset by that. Um, he killed my variegated Billy eyes, both of them. My beautiful half moon one, both of them. He killed them. So if anyone has a cheaper variegated billy for sale, I want it one day, but probably maybe for my birthday I'll buy myself a new one, I don't know, but I wish I could just have my other two back. I don't know how he killed them, but he like warned me when I was pregnant, so I keep going back between the pregnancy and the greenhouse. They're both like super traumatic for me because it was like I worked so hard for my greenhouse and all that and have my husband just kill my plants, like that sucked. But um like, if only, like, literally, anytime I looked at plants, I would vomit. I would get sick. Like, even, like, pictures on my phone, I couldn't even look at them. It was horrible. I don't know. The baby knew that my love of plants was competing, I guess, with taking care of him. So, yeah. Even, like, the first few months after having my baby, I couldn't, like, look at plants. It was hard to even, like, take care of them. Like, the smell, the look, something about it. Back to that, my husband killed a bunch. He, so he was trying really, really hard to grab as many as he could to save them. And my neighbor, just with the stakes, it was so, like, it was, ugh, it was a hot mess. It looked like a hot mess. Oh, and then the cop, he's just like, you guys need to go inside, and it's not safe out here. Because branches, like I said, I have these huge, huge trees out here. And he's just, and they're flying, everything is like branches flying, all kinds of stuff in the freaking air flying. It was... I've never seen anything or experienced anything like that, but the cops like, yeah, you guys need to get inside, it's dangerous, blah, 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 and then he was just like, do you guys need help, and da, 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 and we're just like, no, and then he's just like, yeah, that greenhouse, I had to move my cruiser because that greenhouse almost hit my car, big, uh, the greenhouse pieces almost hit my car, and 
uh, like in my neighbor, he has it on video, but he said that my greenhouse caught air, which didn't make me happy because, and it was wild because I had two, um, two or three of my philodendron tables were connected, you know, because I had plants growing up the wall. So those poor plants, the philodendrons did, I lost more philodendron than I did anthurium because the philodendron were connected to the wall of the greenhouse. So when it flew, a lot of my anthuriums actually stayed where they were and the philodendrons, even though like they like got knocked down by the wind, but they stayed pretty close it seemed, but the philodendron, they went up with the greenhouse, went caught air. So they got wrecked, especially the ones connected to the wall. So that sucked. Uh, but yeah, so the cops said it got air, the neighbors said it got air, and I was like, oh, great. But I'm glad that it was still low enough to where it got caught on the fence, so that was cool. Because then, during the next few days, so after they, they took out most of the freaking plastic and set it out, so I had most of the pieces. Um, and then his mom, like my neighbor's mom who was taking my stuff, she the next day she's like, yeah, make sure you contact insurance and I'm like oh yeah I already did I contacted my insurance the same day and told them what happened they told me to send them any pictures and videos I have the receipts for my greenhouse the shade cloths the misting system the only thing they didn't replace they they uh reimbursed me homeowners insurance reimbursed me but they couldn't replace all my plants because, I don't know, I didn't really talk to the guy about that. I was too upset. I didn't want to try to catalog how much, and I did not want to tell my husband how much I spent on plants. But I didn't want to catalog how many plants and how much I spent on plants. And oh, it was just a hot mess. And I had the baby, so it was just too much at once. So I just wanted to be done with it. So he just, and it was like two days, like two or three days after I sent him all the stuff. And then they just paid me. So that was cool. Um... Sadly, I didn't buy any plants with all that money or replace the greenhouse just yet because I want something bigger and better. This one, it was 8 by 20. The next one, I'm trying to go, the one I found that I like is 10 by 24, but I want to find a good contractor to do it, at least do the base, and I'm trying to pick like what kind of flooring I want for it. So I have a lot of stuff that I'm trying to think, but... We need to do our home edition before we can <clears throat> do that. I need to do my home edition and my fence and my driveway. And then the greenhouse is low priority right now. But I was able to save eh, a few plants. It was a lot. Well, like the next few days after the greenhouse blew away, I had to go through the yard and... Oh, and it was so sweet. Even some of my neighbors, like, found some plants. Some of them, they probably freaking kept, but they, like, they're like, oh, this was in my yard or something. Just, like, pieces of plants, and it was sad. <laughs> and some were still in pots. Like, people were bringing me plants, so that was cool. Um, but I was just finding them all over my backyard, all over my front yard. Like, a lot of them, they, like, got ripped out. Like, the roots were just ripped out, and... I didn't have time to repot and re-root a lot of them and it was so sad to see literally my plants just that I worked so hard. My huge plants, my huge magnificum and my huge, what was my other one? Oh yeah, my Milano. Oh, those broke my heart to see. I'm like, I haven't even uploaded those. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw my huge magnificum and my huge Milano. Oh, best purchases ever and now that seller who I love she has no more of those of that size and they were such a great price and I'm heartbroken and when I bought most of my plants plants were eh, I wouldn't say cheap but way cheaper than they're going for now so it breaks my heart when I'm just like oh I want to replace this plant and then I see how much it is now compared to what I originally bought it for and most of mine were bigger than what they are what I'm being offered now, and I'm just like, oh, my heart. So, I was having a little bit of a hard time with that, trying to get back in the plant game when the prices have changed and trying to replace the plants that I had, and yeah, so it sucked. But thankfully, um, they did have a lot of plants inside still, and I'll be able to replace my greenhouse one day, and it sucked. That was like my dream, like, greenhouse. It was just... I was so happy, so it sucks. It makes me want to be sad, but I'm not going to be sad. Um, but yeah, I'm going to rebuild, and it'll be 
bigger and better than ever. So people will be like, oh, is that this plan? Or like on my Instagram or even just on the comments and some of my previous videos, they're just like, oh, can we get an update on these plants? And I'm just like, cool, I wish we can get an update on these plants. Like that plant is gone and no fault to anyone. It's like not a fault of the sellers, like all the plants, most of the plants from my previous videos were just thriving in my greenhouse and it's no more, so. But the ones, the few that did make it, I'll definitely try to make some update videos on those and see what I can do. But like I said, we're just restarting and we will rebuild. So thank you so much for watching and listening to me go on and on about